one way to make this uh, school year easier is to start using Google Calendar if you haven't. Um, a lot of high school students have trouble keeping track of assignments, uh, due dates, that sort of thing, um, forgetting about assignments, and Google Calendar can go a long way to, uh, to solving that problem. First of all, on your Google account, just look up, up at the top here and you can click on Calendar. Uh, you might have to click the More button here to find it. Uh, once you're in the calendar, you're going to see something like this. This is uh, a weekly view. I can also view it by the day. I can view it by the month, and so on. Weekly view is, is generally pretty helpful. Let's say I've got a paper due on Friday uh, the 24th, and maybe my class that day is at 1 o'clock. So I'm going to come down here and click on this, and it automatically opens up a little event window. And uh, it says, what is it? So I'm going to say, um, term paper due. And I'm going to click edit event because I want to put in some more, some more details on that. Uh, where, maybe I'll put in the class, history class. Um, I've already got the time in here. Um, you can give it a different color. I might give it red just to, so that it jumps out at me. But this is what is most important right here is the reminders. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up an email reminder. So this is going to send an, an email to whatever email I have registered with my Google account here. And I'm going to set it up to send me an email uh, three days before because I'm going to, well, actually let's make it four days before because I'm going to write the paper in three days. Then I'm going to have it send me another email, just in case, one day before, so that I can make sure and bring it into to school. And then if I'm if I'm really prone to forgetting, um, maybe I'll do an email reminder uh, a few hours before. I, I could set it up for that morning. So it say it's due uh, it's due at one o'clock. Let's go maybe six hours before. That'll be just before I leave for school. Uh, just to make sure you can do a pop-up reminder if you're often on your Google account and then a reminder will pop up uh, when you want to do that and then make sure you click Save okay now you can see here's the event on my calendar I can move this around if I want to um, just slide it around on the calendar but the most important thing is that little alarm you see that little alarm icon on there that is going to send me the reminder that is so important and then then what I might do is I'll go through and put in a block out the time it's very important to block out time when you're planning uh, especially when you're when you've got a lot going on blocking out time can go a long way to making you work more efficiently what I'm going to do is say that my final draft I'm going to do night before. Now it would probably be better to uh, not to do it the night before. Um, better to plan ahead and get this done um, maybe a week before or something like that but but we're being realistic here so let's say I'm writing my my final draft the night before. Uh, I'm going to do this at home and I'm going to give it a different color this time and go ahead and email us um, Let's email us just 30 minutes before the time just to uh, make sure we remember. But it's not going to go to 8 o'clock. This is going to be more like uh, maybe I'll go to 10 o'clock. So I'll take three hours uh, before I go to bed. All right, now how about the day before? This is when I'm going to write my rough draft. All right, same thing here. And then my research, um, I'm going to do before that. So research and outline. OK, this is very simplistic. Um, you might need to be doing some research at school or at the library, uh, something like that. But anyway, this is all set up now, and I can, I can see 
this is this is when I'm going to get that paper done. Now, here's what you one of the things you want to do is hold to that schedule. So, in other words, don't go past ten o'clock. Get to bed at a decent time, because work has a way of filling the time allotted for it. It also has a way of shrinking to fit the time allotted for it. So, you you make definite cutoff times and you commit to finishing that task in that time. That'll save you a lot of time in the long run. Having it all planned out like this will save you a lot of stress. You can see where you're headed. You're not walking around in a fog all the time or in the dark, uncertain of what's around the next corner. And the reminders will help you to stop forgetting assignments um, and help work like your personal secretary.